In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step everything that you can do with the DGEN token, which is a new meme coin on the base L2, but it's not actually just a meme coin. They've launched their own layer three where transactions are super cheap. And if you follow along with this video today, you can be one of the first people to bridge over to the DGEN layer three and start interacting with it. There's currently multiple airdrop campaigns going on right now. It's kind of separate from the layer three launch, but it is possible that there could be some incentives for being early to the L3, potentially in the form of airdrops, but also by bridging to the L3 chain early, there's other ways that you could take advantage of opportunities. And shout out to Lee and Chanwise from my Discord for coming up with this time-sensitive alpha. I'm just turning this into video format. Now, at this point, I should say that there are risks associated with this, and I do not recommend bridging massive amounts of capital. But before you can actually get started interacting with the new DGEN chain, you're first gonna need to have some DGEN tokens. Now, in my opinion, the best way to get it is to just trade for it on Uniswap on the base L2. So if you use a tool like Dex Screener, you can actually trade for the token directly here in the application, or you can open up Uniswap in a separate tab and trade for it there. Then you just need to make sure that you're on the correct network and that you've selected the DGEN token here. The current market cap of this is about $380 million and one DGEN token costs about three cents. Now, I already do have a balance of the tokens here, but let's say that I purchase a little bit more of it. I'll just confirm this swap in the wallet here and then we'll move on to the next step. And one thing to note here, since this is a DGEN token, it is very volatile in price. And if the transaction doesn't go through, you might need to increase the slippage tolerance to 1%. And the way that you would change the slippage tolerance is to click here up on the setting, go to custom, and then set 1% as the slippage. The auto slippage tolerance is 0.5% but sometimes your transaction won't go through if you keep those settings. That is the easiest way to get some DGEN tokens. And this is a very volatile cryptocurrency. If we zoom out a bit, you can see this has run up spectacularly since the beginning of March. So this is very speculative. I would not consider buying this token as an investment. It's more just the necessary means to actually interact with the next steps that I'm gonna show you. Now, another way that you can actually get DGEN tokens is a bit more complicated, but if you use Farcaster or specifically the Warpcast application, application, you can actually tip and receive tips in the DGEN token. So they have multiple rounds of airdrops. They just finished the second airdrop and they're now starting season three. However, in order to tip people and receive tips, you are going to need to have a minimum of 10K DGEN in your Farcaster connected wallet. So there is a little bit of a hurdle to get over at this point, having 10K DGEN is gonna cost you a couple hundred dollars. So just to back it up and make sure that this is perfectly clear, this is talking about your Ethereum wallet on the base layer two, it needs to have a minimum of 10,000 DGEN tokens kept in that wallet in order to participate in this airdrop campaign. And if you have 10K DGEN in your wallet, then you can go sign up for the Farcaster or the Warpcast application, and you can actually tip other people and receive tips in the DGEN token by just commenting. And then periodically tokens, DGEN tokens for participating in this, get airdropped to you. So literally today they did the second round of the airdrop. But this isn't necessarily a reliable way to get the DGEN tokens. And so if you want to bridge to the layer three and start experimenting with it, it's probably easier just to buy a couple of dollars worth. And by the way, if you wanna do every step that I'm gonna show you in this video, I would say you'd need at a minimum 500 to 1,000 DGEN tokens to be able to pull it off successfully. And then in terms of the tokenomics, they've broken it down here. So there's three rounds of the airdrop here. They've done round one and round two. Round three is going to be even bigger at 25% of the total supply. So there's definitely still an opportunity to farm the DGEN airdrop by commenting on Warpcast. And then also they have an ecosystem allocation of 15%. Anyways, once you have some DGEN tokens in your wallet, the next step is to bridge it to the DGEN layer three network. So this right here is the link to the official DGEN chain bridge. Now, before you bridge, this is very important to highlight. This, as far as I know, is the only actual way that you can get funds to and from the DGEN chain. And if you want to withdraw, there is approximately a seven day waiting period before you can claim the funds that you withdraw. So this is especially why I don't recommend aping a huge amount of money over to the DGEN L3 because it could be difficult for you to cash out if you need that money ASAP. 
there's definitely risks associated with this. This is new technology and we are early adopters here. So be careful. So at this point, you have your DGEN tokens on the base L2. So you want to select base and then you want to select DGEN and we're going to send them to the DGEN layer three. So let's say I'll send 672 DGEN tokens, which is about $20. That this token DGEN is the gas token on the layer three. So you don't actually need ETH once you get to the L3 to pay for transactions, but you do need it obviously on base in order to send the bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and approve this transaction and ship it off to the layer three. And once we get there the transaction fees are ridiculously low a tiny fraction of one cent for each transaction now it might take a couple of minutes for your bridge to actually go through so just wait a couple of minutes and then you'll get there now once your bridge transaction goes through you're going to need to add the new dgen layer 3 network to your wallet if you go to one of the applications on dgen like nft dgen or the dgen chain explorer you can connect your wallet and it will automatically prompt you to add the network and then you can switch to it so now that i've got some more dgen on the layer 3 the next step that I would recommend is to get yourself a .dgen domain name. It costs 69 tokens, which is about $2 at this point. And all you have to do to get this domain name is to just enter the name you choose here and then click mint name. Now I've already registered cryptocove.dgen, so too bad for anyone that was trying to steal my name. Now, once you've minted your domain name, there's a little profile here on the NFT DGEN website where you can track how many tokens you have and also something called activity points. And these activity points increase if you launch NFTs or if you buy or sell NFTs or mint DGEN domain names and mint other posts on this platform. And it's possible that having activity points on the NFT DGEN platform is going to lead to rewards at some point. Now, you can also try to find other users on the platform so for example, I found Chanwise, who's one of the guys from my Discord on NFT DGEN, and I can send him one DGEN token. There you go, buddy. Don't spend it all in one place. But one of the other main things that you can do on this platform here is to mint NFTs or to create your own NFT. So here on the featured section, you'll see some of the popular collections. Some of these are actually quite expensive, but I could mint this DGEN rock here for 31 DGEN, which is not too expensive, less than a dollar. So let's go ahead and do this. And when you buy or sell these NFT collections on this platform, it's kind of like the friend tech bonding curve. So for every additional one that someone purchases, the price for the next person goes up. Or if a bunch of people start selling, then the price of it quickly drops. So that bonding curve mechanism is what is working here on this NFT collection platform. Another thing that you can do is actually chat amongst all of the members that hold that specific NFT collection. So in this case, the DGEN Rock. So let's just say what's up in the chat here and submit it. I'm the first person that's actually commented on this. Now, going back to the NFT launchpad, I can also create my own collection. So let's name this collection the Cove OGs collection symbol Cove. I upload an image, add a little description and name the NFT. And then I'm just going to leave the bonding curve ratio as is because to be honest, I don't have the expertise to go messing around with the bonding curve. But this is what I was talking about, where every additional mint increases the price or every Every additional sale decreases the price. So let's go ahead and create this NFT collection. To create a brand new collection from scratch costs 199 DGEN. So let's create this NFT collection. And as you can see, each transaction that I sign here is basically free because it's on a layer three. It rolls up to the layer two, which rolls up to the layer one. And then the other thing that you can do is mint a post that you make. So you click on the little mint button down here, and then you can actually mint that post kind of similar to Lens Protocol, and you can actually make a post about minting the post. So all you have to do is confirm a transaction in your wallet, and each mint of a post costs 6.9 DGEN. Okay, so I created the collection, I minted a few of the NFTs, I've minted someone else's NFT, and I sent a token to my buddy from the Discord. We minted posts, and now you can see my activity point score has gone way up. So that's more or less everything that you can do here on NFT DGEN anyways. But there's other things that we can do on the DGEN L3. So let's take a look at this thread here on Twitter. Shout out to Cousin Ape, because in this thread he breaks down how how you can actually mint the first ever ERC721 token or NFT on the DGEN L3. Now, the process for doing it is a little bit complicated, but I'll walk you through how to do it. So for starters, you're going to want to open up your MetaMask or Rabi, whatever wallet you're using, go into advanced settings. So click settings, go to advanced and scroll down to this where it says show hex data. You're gonna to want to turn that on before you can actually do this mint. It's not super user friendly, but that means if you can actually pull it off, 
you'll be one of the few people that actually does this. Now, the next step is to go over here, copy the contract address for this NFT, and then go back to MetaMask, hit send, and we're going to send a transaction of zero DGEN to this contract address. You can ignore this warning from MetaMask. It's not a big deal. And then here in hex data, we're going to need to go back over here, copy all of this right here, paste it into hex data, but then we're going to want to delete everything in the brackets, copy our own wallet address, paste it in in the brackets, but remove the OX at the beginning of your wallet and then remove the brackets as well. And then once you do that, it should pop up blue, allowing you to go ahead and confirm the transaction. So go ahead and do that and then actually confirm it in your wallet. And you should see it go through successfully. And if it does go through successfully, that means you've now actually minted one of those NFTs. So I can click on that and open it in the block explorer and the DGEN L3 already has its own block explorer here. And I can see the actual ID of this NFT that I just minted. Now you won't be able to see it in your wallet unless you import it manually. But if you want to do that, I can click here, open this up, copy the contract address for this NFT collection and go back over here, open up my MetaMask wallet, go to NFTs, click import NFT, paste in the contract address, and then copy in the number of the actual ID of the NFT I just minted, which is 2564561 hit import, and now I can actually see that NFT in my wallet. So I have two of these, I've minted it twice. So that's another thing that you can do to be an early adopter of the DGEN layer three. And then the other thing is that there's already a meme coin on the meme L3, DGEN Pepe. So this meme coin has a similar type of bonding curve where the more that people buy it, the price increases or sell and decrease. It's got its own channel and community on the Warpcast application. And there's a couple of ways that we can interact with this here. So this is by no means financial advice and I'm not suggesting that this token is actually going to be worth a lot, but you can buy or sell it here on this Mint Club application. So if you wanna buy it, you just click here. If you wanna sell it, you click here. I already have 1 million of the token in my wallet, but let's say I wanted to buy another 500,000. That's gonna cost me at this point, 525 DGEN tokens. So then I would just click buy here and confirm the transaction in my wallet. And then if you wanna see the balance of the token in your wallet, you can just click on this little button. And if that doesn't work, you can manually copy this contract address and then go into your wallet and then import the token. So now I have 1.5 million DGEN Pepe tokens and a little bit of the DGEN token left to pay for gas fees. But there's other stuff that we can do with this token. So if I scroll down here, you can see that there's an option to lock it up or to create an airdrop of the token for other people. And down here at the bottom, you'll notice there's this little green square that says airdrops. So if we click here, these are basically tokens that other people have given up for you to claim as an airdrop. And it tells you how many you could get by claiming it. So I could claim one DGEN Pepe token from this airdrop, one per person. So I can click claim here and confirm the transaction in my wallet. And that gives me one DGEN Pepe token. But you can scroll through this list of airdrops. Some of them are not offering much but some of them are actually offering a decent amount. If you were early, early to the platform, you could have claimed thousands of these, but now 10, sometimes 50 or 100 if you're lucky, seems to be the largest amount. But anyone can come at any time and create an airdrop for other people to claim. So you can claim some airdrops here, and then you can also create an airdrop. And if you wanna do that, you click create airdrop, you select the DGEN L3 network, then you select the token, so DGEN Pepe, and then you can name your airdrop whatever you want. So let's call it Cove OGs only. And then the next step is to select how many tokens you want to airdrop. So let's say I'll put 100,000 DGEN Pepe tokens and then the number of wallets that can claim it. <clears throat> so let's do this. I'll create an airdrop for people of 100,000 total tokens and 1,000 total wallets. So every wallet that claims this airdrop will get 100 DGEN Pepe. Then you can select private or public, but I'll just click public here and then immediate start date. And then I will go ahead and approve this transaction in the wallet and create this airdrop of 100,000 DGEN Pepe tokens. Okay, cool. So now if I go to my creator dashboard, I can see this airdrop that I just created. 
If you're watching this video, you can go try and claim 100 tokens if it's still open. Then the other thing that you can do on this platform here is to lock up your DGEN Pepe tokens. Now, as far as I can tell, there's no real benefit to doing this. This platform that we're doing this stuff on is actually a platform that's supposed to be used to legitimately manage airdrops or team allocations. So these lockups could be for like vesting schedules of serious people that actually try to launch serious tokens. But we could also just experiment with it and I could lock up a small amount of DGEN Pepe. So we'll call the lockup for lols and let's say I lock up another 100,000 tokens for a week. Then all I do is approve the transaction in my wallet and I won't be able to access those tokens for a week. No real benefit to me or to you for doing this. But again, we're just trying to be early adopters of this new L3 network and it's kind of fun to experiment with this stuff. So now if I go to my dashboard, I can see the lockup here and I can see also the airdrop that I created under airdrops. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you today. Just a fun new network that you can experiment with. There's not a whole lot to do right now, but this is very, very early days. And if you want to try and experiment with it, be one of the first people to be on this network. There could be opportunities that come from this. Again, do not ape a huge amount of money into this. Do not lock up a huge amount of money and be patient with the bridge. But once you're actually on the network, it's pretty fast and super cheap. So it is fun to experiment with. Hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.